2023. Season of reward. We want to look at something very important this morning. We've been, at least for some time, some of us have been, in, you know, being born again, coming to church. We've been hearing it here and here. But for us to receive the season of reward that we have, the God has promised us, there are some steps, there are some things we need to put in place. And last week, I was able to show us one or two points, you know, uh, in the first service that we should learn and things that we should put in place. I told us that God is a jealous God. He will not share his glory with anyone. So, don't uh, uh, accept his glory and do not give it to any human being. I told us last week, and also I told us that no matter what the issue is, if God will not do it, no man will be able to do it. I told us, allow him to perfect his work. He called it a season of reward. He will do it. It may only take time, but it will come at his own time. And I told us also last week that no matter the amount of good, good man does for you, never give them the place of God. Never give whosoever who has helped you the place of God. Let God be God and woman be human. And also the, part, the last point, point I told us last year, I said, God at times uses the foolish thing of the heart to solve problems. So as to make man to know that he is God and God chooses to perform his acts the way he wants it. These are the four points that we learned last week from the, la I mean, from the season of reward. And this morning, I want to show us something from the book of Psalm 103, verse 7. <coughs> Psalm 103, verse 7. I want to show us the principle in the kingdom of God that will help us to gain access to great results, great reward from God. Psalm 103, verse 7. It will be our first scriptural reading this morning. In honor of God's word, shall we please rise to our feet as we read together after the count of three. And one, two, three, let's go. He made known his ways unto Moses, his act unto the children of Israel. Shall we read it one more time? He made known his ways unto Moses, his act unto the children of Israel. Father, we ask that you, Lord, explain your word to us this morning in Jesus' name. The Bible said the entrance of your word, given light and understanding unto the simple. We are simple, Lord, this morning. Release your word to us in Jesus' name. And at the end of this morning service, let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. Please let's have a seat. Thank you. God bless you. Where we read this morning says, He may know his ways unto Moses, his act unto the children of Israel. The ways of God are the principles of God. Why the acts are his products. Let me come back. The ways of God are the principles of God. The acts are his products. It means that God shows Moses how he does his products. That is miracles. The Israelites enjoy his miracle. But Moses did what his God showed him. His own way. Be finish work. You understand better. It is important you know the ways of God, like Moses, the servant of God, so that you can enjoy God whenever you like. God shows Moses, this is how I used to do it. But the children of Israel, he showed them the finished work. The products. But he showed Moses his way because he is God's servant. And we want to learn it this morning. How will it be possible for God to only pick a man? Don't forget I said the ways of God are the principles of God. Why the acts are his products. The principles of God. And let's look at it. Number one. Righteousness makes you a friend of God. But faith gives you access to the provision in his hands. And the reason why I will bring this first point to us is because somebody will say God is partial. Yes. 
Somebody will say, ah, she, with what we read now, he make his way known to Moses. But to the children of Israel, he only do what? Show his finished work. Why is it that he separated Moses from all of them? Is God partial? Yes. And somebody will ask what? Number one, is the righteousness of Moses was what made God to separate him from others. Because righteousness makes you a friend of God. Even if you don't, if God don't want to come down, but because you are living a righteous life, God will make you his own friend. Hmm. Have you ever seen believers who lived all their lives serving God with a pure heart? Dada. But we want to bring out something very important this morning. And that very important thing, I saw it and I'm, I'm like, ah, ah. Oh, there's a partial. If you are right with him, you will become his friend. He will separate you from others. If you read the book of, in the New Testament, God was saying something. He said, Moses was the friend, my friend, because he, he used all his, his life. You know, all his heart is with me. He is righteous. And that's the reason why I love him. And do you know the funniest part of it? God did not want Moses to see destruction. That's the reason why he took him. Because he was trying to it has gotten to that level. And somebody will say, ah, 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 ah. I have seen, I have, I, there was a day I was like, why we God love Jacob? Have you not seen it before? With all what he has done to him, Allah partial to some essence. And to some, only I love whom I love, and I hate whosoever I hate. And it has become my prayer now, Father, please let me be loved. Because so that I've been told by who but one of the points when I personally read this morning was that Moses, the Bible said he was a righteous person. Oh, and he told fear can refer me. Please just hold this in your hand. In your journey in this life, to please come back every night. Father, hope I am okay. Please have mercy. He became victimatic. Always have it at the back of your mind. That's number one thing that made God to have interest in him. I'm only digressing. I want to explain something there. Let God and you be in a close relationship. Fish your head. It's just like, don't indulge in anything sinful. Kill alone. She like David. Some of us are Ninu and he said, Oh, me, Oh, yeah. Go back to him and ask for mercy. The Lord will give us understanding on that aspect in Jesus' name. Now, let's go on. <laughs> now, from my discovery this morning, that I saw something that have you ever seen believers who lived all their life serving God with a pure heart, but despite that, they still die being a poor beggar. Yes, if you haven't seen, in fact, I will show you two from the Bible this morning. The first person was Lazarus, the, beg, the poor beggar, and the prophet who died in death. Where we are actually going this morning, I want to bring out something very important. Apart from righteousness of Moses, he too was a man of faith. Faith, F-A-I-T-H, is what I want to show us this morning. But let's look at something very quickly from the book of Luke chapter 16, 20, 22. Luke 16, 20, 22. Let's have this on the screen, please, so that everyone can read. Luke chapter 16, verse 20 to verse 22. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, 
The dogs came and licked his sores. Verse 22. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. I mean, uh, uh, and told you not to shake it. Want to want to joke? But there is something that make a distinction between two of them. And what is that? Because the beggar was a righteous person, he was serving God. One confunik inyen lo fi die ato. But two of them would die. Both the rich and the poor, they both die. And also, let's look at Second Kings chapter four from verse one. Second Kings four from verse one. <coughs> he says. Now, there, there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, fearing the Lord, like Moses, O. Oh. <laughs> and the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bound men. Both of them in their lifetime lived what? Holy life. Yet they died poor. Somebody will say, ah, righteousness, righteousness. Yes, Moses was a righteous person. And that was the reason why God did what? Separate him. These people too, they are righteous people, Abby. But we want to look at something very important. Hmm. Let's go on. He says, the reason is that God gave, has given provision. I mean, l- I'm sorry, let me come back. Both of them died in their lifetime, lived holy life, yet died. The reason is that God has great provision in his hand for, for us, his children. But will not give us what we do not do what? Have faith to receive. In the time of Moses, righteousness in me, while he first in last is called Shokoto, the Kafansha. But when he got to this set of people, righteousness alone will not help them. In our generation, I can ah, I'm a holy person. Me, ni she she. Me, she and kaka. Me, she, fi, igbagbo, kong, kontima. When he igbagbo, la, is he, she. And we want to receive resistance. Somebody will say, I want to be like Moses. In kontima, she, lom, wala, todo, mo, se, ni, Ah, why we go separate him? God is partial. God is partial. Why we go separate It was then righteousness. One, lo, mo, tong, ba, your own righteousness is sharing your own joko like Lazarus. Even the king, in the, I mean, uh, the uh, prophet, in his own time too, he died as a beggar, as a debtor. Oh, Lord, you want to call the woman? Righteousness, no, she, no, she. Titi, no, she. But God is saying something to us this morning, and I want us to understand it critically very well. So that by the time we will start praying in our various houses, we will not just add God, the Lord help me to live righteous. You live righteous and won't die poor. May it not be our portion in Jesus' name. Both of them, live, both of them in their lifetime lived only life, yet died poor. And the reason is that they did not know the provision that have been given, that have been provided. And that is what I'm talking about from the, from the book of uh, the first point I mentioned to us about uh, Moses that alone ofi he share ofi he honor eh huh ofi he share eh huh and one more Israelite ah eh to ba fessing me ni bagbo ni righteousness but he the the last result is riches is blessing but so many of us being a born again child of God believer we have righteousness we are serving God. But ah, mom, continue alone to provide this telephone. And what is making us to lack it is one thing, which is faith. Several believers do not have faith for the glorious thing that God has in his hand for his children. And that is the reason why they are dying poor. His finished work, his product is that Ofekan Nikbobon. Ofekan one more. Ah! Come on, healthy. Come on, okay. But the point is, she want more to learn. Don't you pay? Say, but but she want it back. Well, that's it, ba. Yes, they are living a righteous life. Are born again? To those of us who are born again, not to those of us who are 
one leg in, one leg out. And I wrote a book. I, I, I saw a book in the book of, I mean, a verse in the book of Hebrew chapter 11, verse 1. Let's read it. Hebrew 11, 1 is a popular, a popular scripture that everybody used to quote. But we don't really know the important aspect of it. Let's look. It say, now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. <laughs> The evidence of things not seen. Yoruba I love reading in Yoruba. Uni igbagbo. Nikini. Ni jeri. Onuti anreti. Igbagbo. Ni jeri. Onuti anreti. Ko ideo. Bo. You know when I came up. I mentioned that. You are expecting ah reward, reward, reward. If Jerry, you keep saying it, he will reward me. If Jerry, me, oh, continue last time I saw ah ah. Allah no so come and reward me. Allah no so come and they like me. Is if Jerry, oh, we see and shaking it, see and ready, oh, ready, go a day. No, somebody will ask. <laughs> okay, we have been prophesying it since July, July. Eh? season of reward. He has made the provision. The finished product. He has finished it. Yes, we are believers like Moses. But what will bring those things to pass to us? If we lack it, it can it, the blessing can never be released. Please go back to that scripture. The last part. And the evidence of things not seen. Evidence of things not seen. Ha. When I saw it this morning, evidence of things not seen. Oh, what is sorore? It will bring this word to pass. That is when the product will be released unto us. Are you getting me this morning? Several believers do not have faith for the glorious thing, the glorious products that God has in his hand for his children. I want us to see something. Let's see some of the example. Example A. In the book of Matthew 14, 25 to 28. Matthew 14, 25 to 28. Matthew 14, 25 to 28. He says, and in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. Verse 26. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled. They saying, it is a spirit. And they cried out for help. I mean, for fear. And 27 says, but straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, be of good cheer. It is I, be not afraid. And 28, and Peter answered him and said, Lord, if thou, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. 29 says, and he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Hmm. There's a question, question here. He said, why was it only Peter that joined our Lord Jesus to walk on the sea. Faith. Ti o gami bali e rin lori omi. Ah ah. En kon kon lo gbe won. Je kin fi, je ke mi gan fi gba. Oga, if you can walk on the water, call me to come. Let me also experience the same thing you experienced. And that was the reason why they picked him. Can you see what I'm talking about from the beginning? You know, it was because of the fear of God, you know, righteousness, and faith of Moses. I remember now, people were plenty. Aaron, Miriam, every one of them, they are in the city. Oh. He was with the king of the land. Remember, Oshe, Osalo. It's because of his righteousness. And the second point was the faith he has. Same thing is applicable here. You remember? This is the beginning. 
where we need we discover that Peter was chosen. Tebanotipe is the head of all of them, the apostle. You remember now. He said, upon this, I will lay the foundation of the church. And when it's back, boy, Henry, Jesus will renew. Ah, and to she more, and to she fish a leader. It's back, boy, oh, boro, go and shake with righteousness. Yeah, Nico, but only it's back, boy, you know me. That is what God wants to see in us before He can reward. You remember the story of Moses? If you get them, you can read. The Bible says he was looking at the ah, mu ya to san warabi. How will I now be like this? And somebody will just be killing them. He been on yellow jacko lossy before he mino mapa. Oh pa, oh berry. Oh ba no fem. Push a salad. Oh pa lock for a beru. Hi ni ba boni no areni. Is what is killing so many, and that's the reason why the blessing has not been coming. Oh ni ba boni no areni. Talk less of God. Do you see the true virtue that God saw inside Peter? And inside who? Moses, which was the first point that we make mention of. I should ask you to come. Okay, come. And it, it was when he was like, ah, But the faith to Koko bring out that if my master can walk on the water, hi, Peter. We also walk on the water. Do you have that kind of a faith? That he said it. <laughs> oh, my wasim, Moshe. It was only Peter that had the faith to request from Jesus the ability to walk on the sea. <laughs> and that should show us that God is committed to giving you what you have faith for. In continue, bani igba, bola tigba, ole wabai. Why did our Lord Jesus not call the other disciples to join him as he started walking on the sea? Oh, you can want igba go. Oh, I will leave after you. One come akuba mi, one come drown you. Mama mu goro Jesus igba wa, goro Jesus igba wa, goro Jesus igba. Why dem alole? But this guy, Marble, walk on the water with me. Are you listening to me this morning? Hey, the season of reward cannot come if you don't have faith. Yes, you are righteous. But if you don't have faith to it, not faith, you are not faith. But down deep in your heart, you are not actually expecting God. You have your eyes somewhere else. For your reward, it won't come. It shows us that God doesn't force people into the realm they don't have the faith for. Come, 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 come and enter into this level. And what I promise you, come, come and believe by force. It doesn't force. And that's the reason why you can't keep forcing somebody. Only about five years from Jesus by calling the person out. <laughs> the person leaves the present, the altar, and go back and continue smoking. I have a very a, one of my customers that normally comes. Ah, can you come? I, I will tell, come and help me to, to, to do to clean my nails and also. You know, sometimes when she comes in, some of my <laughs> sales girl will say, Mama, I say, what kind of a person is this one? <laughs> she's just like oh, she's funny, some. I say, I feel it. To ba ti ya. Ti ik ba go e ba ti to to ti shetan ti fwa ye fun jesu. Willingly she will leave herself for God. Ah, mommy. O yizi. Kona ti mo ti nwa yin. Ah. Ha fwa yo ni. Ha fwa yo. I have seen a PA to a bishop that is a smoker. O long way by bu mo. Mo de mo. For years. So, but she will go somewhere and do what? I roll it, you. I move And nobody knows in the church, even including the pastor, the bishop that she's helping. Smart, smart indeed. You will never even smell it in our body. It even happens to my mother in the Lord. 
He said, you can't imagine that my PA smokes. Don't she have not smoke? Kill him, but he only should share for this answer. Has he yo? But you will never know. You don't want to know how I die. Have I got away by one side? Am I suspecting one? I said, you want me. My mother in the law said, she never for once, until one day, they traveled for ministration. And she was calling for her taco. The PA now came out among them. I said, ah, but you feel what way by the He said, she wondered when she raised up her hand and she cried bitterly. When they now got to the room, come, come, come. Like, before you go, what happened? Why did you come back again? Have you fallen short? He said, I am inside it already. Not that I'm falling short of the glory, but I am inside. What have you been doing? I'm a smoker, chain smoker. So, you want to force somebody to be born again by force, or you want to force somebody to have faith? It's impossible. You know, sometimes when we pray for some people, you pray, and you let them pray. How come was in there? Sometimes I will use that and tell my husband, and then pray for God, so, he bought me a lot of money. Oh, believe me, you know, I want to feel a if he won't let. My husband said, yeah, you can feel it. Let's pray for them, for God. I will join. Amen. Hey, man, after some time, when the old thing now comes, I did so bad. And you already look when you go see back when you know what If your faith is not, is not strong enough, can you see here that it shows so that God doesn't force people into the realm they don't want, they don't have faith for? And that is why so many children of God will keep going higher, higher when some other children of God remain stagnant. I will Lazaru. Kinsha Marie Crom CJ, Igbagwe Oju, Kojo Kosilele. Seated on the floor and eating from the crumbs. Ah, I don't know. Some of us who are God has already blessed with children when they are eating. How do you see it? Sometimes they come and we experience it with our toddlers and all our, our pre nursery. They love eating themselves. Some children parents say they don't eat, uh, they love eating by themselves. But the only thing is that you can't have a bad life. You can't have a bad life. You can't have a bad life. The crumbs. Look, the only thing is that our own children are small. But if you are an adult, you are eating bread. The especially sliced bread. You know sliced bread, there is no how. The crumbs. What kind of a heart is that? I don't like people giving me money and say, Egba, Egba ma. Show me the way. And that's one of the things that people don't like. Stop giving me fish. Show me how to fetch it now. How to go to the river and bring out the water and bring out the fish myself and, fe- and bring it out of the water. Crumbs in your egg bag, well, lo me, Beloa. Timasha Timba won. Kishi Baranda. Let me see how I can. Let me see. If I can't one plus one with the way I'm working, uh, uh, something will come. They never think of becoming the king, the person that they will help to carry Bible to. Uh, uh. And if you, as a person, you are not expecting a reward from which angle. I will want every child of God to be like Peter here. To desire an extraordinary lifestyle. A kind of life that is greater than the kind of life that their fathers and mothers lives, lived. Be wrong, me, Obash. Be a one, con, 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 she told, 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 lanky. Go put on my I know Christ on time. My own life must be better. Far better than my father and my mother's life. That should be our desire. And I believe it should be the desire of all parents here that your, your children should be better than you in every ramification. And if you had that in mind, and don't I won't be it will be one so let my children be greater than me. Children once so, at least kin see a ban will be me too. Ah. Iba boy, Ibe no lobamo. 
And that's where God will stop with a person. Let's look at number B. And from some of the examples that do not, I mean, of several believers who do not have faith for the glorious sin. You know, let's see some, another example. In the book of Luke chapter 7, verse 2 to 10. Luke 7, 2 to 10 says, And a certain centurion servant who was there unto him was sick and ready to die. And when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. Verse 4. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly, saying that he was worthy of him whom he should do this. For he loves our nation and he has built us a synagogue. Verse 6, then Jesus went with them. And when he was now <coughs> not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou should enter under my roof. And verse 7, wherever neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man sent under authority, having under me soldiers, and I say unto one, go, and he goeth. And another, come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this. <coughs> and he doeth it. Verse 9. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him, and turned him about, and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have never found such great faith. No, not in Israel. And verse 10. And the day that we are, that we are sent, returning to the house, Find the servant, oh, that has been sick. Do you understand this story? Let me quickly explain. A centurion is a, a, a leader a, like uh, in our generation now. Let's say we have uh, the head of the soldiers. You know how many soldiers will be on that search? You know, one of the servants was very sick. And he said, okay, help me to call Jesus. Oh, no, no, no. He was not even the one. <laughs> Some of his people went to Jesus and said, ah, hey, wo, And they, in fact, I was even told this morning by my husband that there is a, a kind of problem online. Now. They say it's not Jesus. It's not Jesus. It's uh, Yeshua Hamasia being called that we should be calling Jesus. <laughs> I remember now. That Hamasia oh, in Jesus. Yeshua Hamasia. Oh. Somebody is sick. Oh. Somebody said, uh, and this man that we are talking about, he's, uh, he's a good man. He has built us a synagogue. His servant is sick. Okay, Joe. And Jesus said, eh, okay, let me go there. Let me go and help. Like some of the things Evan used to do for my husband. In those days, he would go and help us do for those who doesn't have eyes. <laughs> you see this man, eh? <laughs> There's a man behind our house. At the label. What's the name of that man? No. Oh, Evan on the white of What's the name of that man that is there? He's popular, a politician. Auxiliary appear. I want it. Just like the same thing that happened here. Oh. <laughs> they now came to Jesus. Jesus, oh, Fele is sick. <laughs> Can you help us? Come and help them. He has built he, and he truly. What made Evan to come to my husband was that, ah, he's the one that used to help us to do the, the road at the uh, level uh, road. Oh, he's a good man. Man of God, come and help us. He will soon die. Come and help us to pray for him. <laughs> that was what happened. And the Bible said, Jesus turned and said, okay, let's go to his house. Let's, let's go. And just, um, pastor, we never hear say, ah, somebody is good. <laughs> let's go and pray for him. Because that road, uh, if, since he's died, eh? That road, heaven <laughs> gone. We don't know what killed him anyway. So, as we, the Bible says, Jesus turned back and said, Let's go, let's go and heal him. Only for them to get on the way. The same people that came to call Jesus and said, Ah, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. How we were told oh, that he said, You should not come. Oh. Ah, ah. He is a man with, and truly, that our backyard. People that were there, eh? Entora Jorishi Rishi, that used to follow that man when he was still alive. Same thing was what happened here. He said, I have more than enough servants. If I should tell one, go there, he will go. If I say, come, they will come. Jesus, wherever you are, just send your word. 
I know your word is powerful. I have faith in your word. Send the word to the son, to my servant. He will be making. And Jesus said, can you imagine? A centurion to need by God to buy. Hold on. For that, let's look for solution. I could remember then. Spooky <laughs> server. Ever said, Papa, a priest anointing. Oh, sorry, pay. Oh, my. What don't say, my law? My husband, I could remember. He said, Kill any more, don't you want? What have you got? I want Jera. Maybe his own face was not much then. Anyway. Because somebody that is already there, that is not even having issues, came back to life here, in our present here. So, they took the oil to the horse. I mean, to Papa, and Papa prayed on it. Getting, by the time they, you know, Jesus turned back and said, can you imagine that faith? He said, I should not come. He said, I should not come. Did Jesus pray? He said, can you ever find this kind of faith here or not? Ah, ah. The Bible says, ah, they got back to the man. Only for them to find out that the, man, the servant is healed. At that time that Jesus said, they asked questions for you to know. They see her. When? At that moment, a few minutes ago. And that was what Jesus, when Jesus turned and said, And the person was made whole. The kind of faith in God, we determine the kind of way God we relate with you. Your kind of faith to God will determine the kind of way God will, deal, will relate with you. See how the centurion believed that a word from Jesus alone is enough to solve his problem. Some of us, we have so many options. We come to God. The Bible says, he, he that must come to God must, have, must, must, must do what? Must believe. He is. A faithful God. He will reward you. A rewarder of those who do what? Who diligently seek him. If you don't have belief in the person who said, I will reward you. What is the essence? It's just like you are working for somebody and somebody said, I will, I will reward you greatly. Somebody look at me and say, anything that needs to do about you, man. Believe me. It will always be at the right in front of you. I say then I will not be telling you. Only before you tell me, I will know. Kiwani. That is God for you. He said, I will do it. So far, I will be doing it. I mean, I remove my mind. I was just praying, God, let your name be glorified. Glorify yourself. This time. And do, when I saw some of the things the person used to do at times, when it comes to me, I will not look at myself and say, God, who am I that can your man in back bow? And gradually I'm building it, building my faith. That and turn on, turn on, see me here. Believe in God. Believe in what He has said. He said He will reward you. The reward may come from where you least expected. You know, he be told for conceit. If he has said it, he will bring it to pass. Your kind of faith in God, let me say it again, will determine the kind of way God will relate with you. The centurion believed that a word from Jesus alone is, is, is enough to solve the problem. Who is God to you? Or can I say, how big do you think your God is? Paolo she ro polorun se to bi to. O ro pe ko le se nkan to fe. Ah ah ah, kekere ni ti e ni waju Olorun. God will be to you who you believe he is. Do you know that the man enjoy a miracle from the comfort of his home? We are others, we are lobbying to book an appointment with Jesus our Lord in the person. Ibitowa. Kick your rock on Only a single word. How mighty is the faith of this man? Made the servant to be made whole. 
Talk less of those who are looking for how to touch him. How to go and see him. Muferini. Mufer Masoroni. Ejekin for work on him. Yes, let me touch him. They did not receive their healing. But somebody at the comfort of his house received the, the healing. Perfect healing. Because of what? Faith. In fact, Bible even put it and said, even if, if you have faith like small, like a mustard seed. Small. As a, the, when I saw the mustard seed, ah, ah, only quote tiny. I don't know how many of us have seen mustard seed be here. Okay? At least have seen it. And in fact, they gave me a whole bottle of mustard seed. A whole bottle. And when I saw it, tebari kunkulutoje. Ah, if okababa tobi julo. So small. Bible says, if, if your faith can be as small as that, that, and that, and that has been my, he has, I used to say my husband, I have never been stranded before. He's ever faithful. There is a song like that when we were growing up. I know who I believe. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I can't remember that song again. They still convert you to Yoruba. He's a faithful God. Small seed. Faith is enough for you to be healed. It's enough for God to answer what, you know, your request for years. Develop an uncommon kind of faith for the kind of life that you want to live in Christ. And you will see God doing it for you. Igbagbo. Oni koja kekiri kunkoloba. He will use it for you. And because there is no faith in us, that is the reason why we are not enjoying his products. The product is available. But your faith is what can give the product to you. If you don't have faith, there is no how the season of reward can come. It's not possible for you to receive the reward in your hands. Have faith as small as mustard seed. The third part. I saw this one too and I said, wow. The faith of this man. He says, see how the thief at the right hand demonstrates an uncommon faith that made him place a demand from our Lord Jesus at the last minute. And don't take on them. Ever. Come on, Lord, you give me. Go away, Lord, if you don't take on me. Oh, she's too young. Ah, pastor. Pastor. Come on, go talk with pastor. Come on, what's going on? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, God, I'm going to talk to Nigeria. Hey, Jehovah, I was on the cross. Oh, they want to name me. Now, so did Jesus. Prophet in Ezekiah. Prophet Ginekon. I met them on the cross also. One of them one. Badu Montitare. The cross that they, they, you know, they put all of them on the cross like that. There is one at the left and one at the right. Konim Badu Monti. Hey, hey, hey. And you know, FIL, you know, no. Ah, ah, ah. Asha Joshua Shekona. Hey, yeah. The man did not look at what Jesus, whether they, they, they frame him, whether he committed anything. He did not even look at it. The only thing he was looking at was savior of the whole world. Gentile make a demand. Faith in the book of Luke, chapter 23, 42 to 43. Luke 23, 42 to 43. That's where you will see it. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy glory. And verse 43 says, And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today. Thou shalt be with me in paradise. You know, a generation. What? Ori, Mose, or me. Help me to snap that Jesus. Help me, help me, help me snap him. Help me put it on the internet, on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. On, let them be seeing us live. That as I'm dying, oh, that is the same way. Jesus, that they call the Son of God. He's also doing the same thing. The same process. Not fair if you come, not fair if you come. I shake and cannot join you. Ah! Nigerians! In your, in your word, depressed. Oh, fellow, cause of me. Hey, hey! 
Ipara, 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 Ipara. They started throwing it. When I first saw it in the middle of the room, because I always wake up by that tree, as I finished playing, I just said, I, should, I want to check something. I saw a message that dropped and notification. So I saw as I commit suicide, want to commit suicide. So I opened it. Let me see what is there. By the time it was around 12 in the afternoon, OJ Hopfa. On TikTok, bah. on YouTube, bah. on Instagram. Bah. So, 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 person wants to kill us. So, ah, Nigeria. Now, so they go leave their own matter. It would have been the same thing that happened to this guy. You know, the other one, I believe that would have been Nigerians. The one at the other side. <laughs> same thing. <laughs> same, same. I show you low no. But you won't fish here yet. Titi T and me fit your ball around. That one said, Meet me at the paradise. But this one is a fire you are going. <laughs> Face your own. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, To die today, thou shalt be with me in paradise. Let's look at about three lessons we should learn from today's message. Number one. <clears throat> you will never be given access to whatsoever you don't have faith for in the kingdom. The first lesson we should learn today is that you will never be given access to whatsoever you don't have faith for. Hebrew chapter uh, 10 verse 38. Hebrew 10 38. Let's have it on the screen. Hebrew 10 38. I added this so that we can understand. Look at it. Hebrew chapter 10 verse 38. Who is giving us? Now look at it. You, you know, I said, you will never be given access to whatsoever you don't have faith for in the kingdom. Now, look at Luke chapter 10, verse 30. It says, now the just shall live by faith. Remember where we are coming from. When I started, I told her that righteousness makes you a friend of God. Like Moses. But faith will make you to what? Activate the product, the finished product. Of God to you. Look at it. The just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back. Oni oni back bo. Yo shekini. Yo ye. Ni kwa back bo. Is that not what we are we are reading? Oni shukbon. Toba ye senyi. Toba fa senyi. Okon mi o shekini. <laughs> and that's the reason why so many rewards are still being delayed. Ah, they told me it will be possible. It will be possible. You have that. But after some time, I say, ah, season of reward. Reward on Wada. Eh? And that's what used to do so many that will not come to church any longer. I say, Lati Joy Timothy. Me reprove when I go to Tisha. Oh, daddy, let me go and look for an alternative. And the alternative has never been the best. And let me go and look for some other people, some other channel. Ah, let me go and look for some other means. Ah, I cannot continue to wait. Ah, oh, but they forgot that the Bible said, though it tarries, only where do Roma one? Hebrew 10, verse 38. Let it be your hand forward. Don't shrink back. Don't be discouraged. The vision in your hand may not speak now. Only Matthew, see my sorrow. But when you read the revelation that you were given, said, Ah, you will become mighty. You will become great. Hey. Ushima wasi mushe. I saw a video of one of our great serv the servant of God in our generation. Hey, he was so tiny. But now, so fresh after so many years. Somebody came to me yesterday. We were both discussing. And the person said, ah, 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 I don't know. Which Dominion University are you talking about? I say it's for, uh, for Bishop Adela. Ah, yeah. So, it has come to reality. I say, why? He said, I was there when they are school. When, I think when they started the school, about when the school was about two years. I said, he said, he has been building that 
Dominion City since that time. I say, hey, count it. How many years now? My first daughter I finished her university. The second one I finished university. Now, I say, only she, I want more to one better. I want no more one better. I want more to one better. I want more to see one better. I want more to see one better. I want more to see one and that is the same thing every one of us should have in our mind. No matter when, how. Let people be asking you questions. I think you are not going to be able to do it. He has said it. He will bring it to pass. I am not God. I will allow him to do his work. That is the first lesson. Number two. God works with us based on our level of faith. It works with us with our level of faith. If your faith is small, oh my die alone, be. If it's medium, oh my die alone. Toba da bi ko koro pa. Oh my die alone. Toba wa je ki si e da bi agbon rapata. Be papa. Watermelon. As big as your faith is on God, that is the same way we respond. And the person will still be smiling. Can you see that God walk with us based on our faith? When the person told me yesterday, I repackaged myself. And I came back and told my husband that somebody said this about our mentor. That it has been long. He said, no wonder Bishop was saying it that time, oh. My own children also got to him <coughs> when they were in nursery school. Anytime you go in their pamphlet, pamphlet Dominion University uh, in, in Vision. Dominion University in Vision. We have so many of his hands. Uh, what do you call it? Maxi? Hey, Dominion is shiny. Dominion is shiny. Hey, Joe, 2020, about four years ago, I'll be five years ago. What should I come to reality? Somebody will have doubted that. The person was even making jests. Without knowing that, they will graduate the first set this year. He looked at me and said, Wow. I said, In fact, I said, 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 that will be your portion and my portion in the name of Jesus. And I told the person, I'm putting one bear. Hey. Number three. Hmm. This is why, I mean, what will I say? And that is why a child of God should never allow anything or anyone make you stop building your faith. That is why you should never, as a child of God, as a believer, to allow anyone under any circumstances to make you stop building your faith. In the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23, Hebrews 10, 10, 23 says, let us hold fast. Let's have it on the screen. Let me show us. You should never allow anything, I mean anything under the sun, or anyone, no matter who that person may be, make you stop building your faith. Hebrew 10 verse 23 say, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful that promised. I have another version here. He said, let us hold fast <laughs> our faith. He says, Without shaking. For he, look at it. Do you know I check my Bible too? This, for he is faithful. That, that promised. This, all the version. What bracket here? Go see version to Balo. Go and check it. Even Yoruba. The bracket, that point that, for he is faithful that promised. Olo ti to ni eni to sheke ni. To she ileri. Olo do do Definitely. <laughs> what bracket? You know Yoruba. What bracket? 
KJV, one bracket. Yoruba version, one bracket. MSG, one bracket. One bracket. Faithful is he that promise. Chuti sokwe wa romo. Osokwe koma wa. Osokwe wano maba wano rale. Oh, bile baton. Warale. Chuti promise ikwe. Walo nwo yi boto otin le boto otin she la kaka. Hey. He will bring it to pass. Faithful is he that promise. Ele tu wano sokwe. It was what? Brackets for understanding. So that wale mo kwe. Has he ever said anything to you? He's faithful. He's faithful. He's faithful. He's faithful. Sholo ma gbi ega. O ma she. O ni wa ari on. O ma she. O kon le da bi. O kwe lo ju awa eni nyan. I mean why don't forget. Our own timing <laughs> is far different from God's timing. Tumbani aro lawa. He was in the rope. Oru. Abi. Oh, the rope oru lawa. Oh, no, no. One day, King Pide. King Yarade. He got over. Woo. Oh, she encountered you. Season of reward. He has said it. He will bring it to pass. It will come to pass. He will have said it. He will lift you up. He will do it. He said he will turn the situation around for you. That every eyes will see you. He promised. Yes. He will bring it to pass. Karaba shantaraba. Shall we begin to talk to God this morning? Hey. Ha soroma tase. Ha soroma ye. Oti she ineri. Ki yo. Ba ki ineri ema wasi moshe. Ah, why school? Ah, oh, will never fail. He will never disappoint. He will never fail. Faithful Father. Faithful God, I am that I have invisible God. Oba, oba. We salute you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for building us up. Tell God, our Father, please help me. Help me build my faith. Help me build my faith, Lord. <laughs> I'm losing it gradually, but please help me. To those of us, to those of us who believe that we are, our faith is wavering, we are about, you know, losing it. Please keep talking to him. Father, please help me. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. To keep holding on. To keep holding on. Not to give up. Not to give up, Lord. Help me, Lord. I know concerning that situation, you have done it. You have done You have healed me. You have done it. Over that child, you have done it. You have done it. It is so. Moshe. Blessed be your name, Daddy. Concerning my work, I know you have done it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for bringing your word to pass in our life. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Shall we rise on our